Hey everyone and welcome back. Today Casey is going to finally finish the trilogy she should have watched as a child, Back to the Future 3. I watched the first Back to the Future a long time ago. We re-watched it recently, then we watched Back to the Future 2 for the channel. Now we're watching the third one. Yeah, so we left off obviously getting that note uh, via Western Union, via, via, whatever. Marty got a note by Doc 70 years ago in the past, if I'm not mistaken. So that kind of takes them back from the 50s to the 1800s. Um, we did see a small little, well, I know because I've seen this, but in the outro of the second movie, there is a little thing that kind of jumps in and shows you the next movie a little bit. I turned it off before it showed Casey too much because I knew we were going to go immediately into this movie shortly thereafter, I should say. Um, so she knows that it's going into the West at some point in time, but that's all the she wild knows. Wild West. The Wild West. <laughs> just the West? Yeah, yeah, just the West. They're just going to California. Wait, they're already in California. So since the second one was kind of like playing with ta the, the original first movie timeline, I guess. Got multiple timelines? Yeah. It's confusing when you talk about time travel. So that one did that. I wonder if this one is going to do anything like that or they're gonna kind of strictly stay in the Wild West or what's gonna happen? Like, are we gonna get a lot more time travel -y stuff or where is this one gonna go? I got this new shirt specifically for this movie. It's Back to the Future. It's from FYE. They still exist. All right. I feel like I've seen this scene so many times. <laughs> it's so pivotal. It was the scene. It was the point, the connectivity point. I feel like it's always the scene that anyone who thinks of Back to the Future will probably reference first, unless they're thinking about something very specific. Doc sliding down, him hitting it at the same time as the clock tower getting struck by lightning. You know, it's funny, as a child, I always thought he was, like, so old in these movies. <laughs> yeah, but, but I looked up really how old he was when, like, I think the first one went on, or when it came out, and I think he was, like, in his 40s or early 50s. <laughs> <laughs> you just sent you back to the future. Oh, I know. did send you back to the future. I'm back. I'm back from the future. Back from the future. I guess that could have been the title for this movie, right? Yeah, Back from the Future. <laughs> Honestly, that would have been per like it could have been Back to the Future three, Back from the Future. <laughs> too much would be too much. Honestly, no, Back from the Future would have been a great title. I'm sticking <laughs> to it. Sticking to it. Zz top. top. I said zz. <laughs> zz top. Are those fake eyebrows? Oh no, it's no, a it's cut. cut. It's a cut. <laughs> Oh, why did it look like a... I forgot, it was like a clock, right? That fell and hit him in the head. Yeah. That's where he got the idea for the flux capacitor. <laughs> As he's right behind you. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, you're going to get another scar. <laughs> What happens when you mess with time? Makes sense. Look, I came back to 1955 again with you, the you from 1985, because we had to get a book from this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so confusing. This is like how I feel like when Casey tries to explain to me like her fantasy books. <laughs> future boy. How could you possibly know? Wait, the me of the future? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was like, wait. As a front, while I attempted to repair the damage to the time circuits. Unfortunately, this proved impossible because suitable replacement parts will not be invented until 1947. Oh. I actually end up as a blacksmith in the Old West. <laughs> Pretty heavy, huh? I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned Delgado mine adjacent to the old Boot Hill Cemetery as shown on the enclosed map. Doesn't that mean they can go get it right now? Inside, you will find repair instructions. A 1955 counterpart that's me <laughs> should have no problem repairing it so that you can drive it back it's always 1955 him that has to clean up everybody else's <laughs> his mess yeah he just has to what's constantly... the what's the rick from uh c137 c137 and, yeah and please take care of einstein for me <laughs> he doesn't einstein he's your dog, dog. <laughs> oh what you call your dog in 1985 he's like oh no we went back in time and got him too <laughs> 
your friend in time. Doc. Oh, and your friend in time. September 1st, 1885. I never knew I could write anything so touching. <laughs> You made yourself cry. Oh, he's sad. I think you woke up the dead with that blast. I'm gonna document everything. <laughs> oh, how cute! What a good boy. What's his name? Copernicus. As a reader, who's Jules Verne? Oh, League Twenty. Okay, I've heard of that. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I didn't know. Until I've heard I that said. name. I sound familiar, but I remember. <laughs> what do you mean, Doc? All the best stuff is made in Japan. It's the 50s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that took me a minute. I was like, wait. <laughs> Kid, I always wanted to be a cowboy. And now, knowing I'm going to spend my future in the past. Sounds like a wonderful way to spread my retirement. Pretty sure, like, uh, the 80s for Japan was, like, Dubai in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Like, they were booming. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? <gasps> <laughs> oh, my gosh. His grave? You remember when he wrote that letter? September oh, he... 1st. Oh! Six days later. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. He's going to go try to save his life. Shot in the back. <gasps> Clara. <laughs> what is great? Uh, oh my gosh. The short temper and a tendency to drool earned him the nickname Mad Dog. He was quick on the trigger and bragged that he had killed twelve men, not including Indians or Chinamen. Does that mention me? You might not remember this, but in the last movie, when he went to the altered future of 1985 uh, with Biff, they were talking about like his great great grandfather. Oh, oh, that's it. <laughs> Black, look. Oh, look. <laughs> the clock from the clock tower. It is true. All of it. The new clock. The new clock. <laughs> the time circuits and put new tires in the DeLorean. I'm going back to 1885. And I'm oh my gosh. This is what he told you not to do. Why? You have to wear the boots. You can't wear those futuristic things back in 1885. You shouldn't even be wearing them here in 1950. Even though that doesn't even look like what they would wear, probably. <laughs> the very next day, September 2nd, that's the Wednesday, September 2nd, 1885, 8 a.m. I get shot on Monday the 7th, so we have five days to locate you. According to my letter, I'm a blacksmith, so I probably have a shop somewhere. Dang, he really broke his own rules. I wish there were more drive-ins. I know. I've never actually been to a drive-in. They have some here. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like perfect timing. <laughs> they didn't even flinch. <laughs> yeah. So they weren't chasing you, they were just running. <laughs> they still didn't even flinch. They were like, oh, what is this thing in front of us? Welcome to 1885, Marty. Put on your shoes. Oh, look, an arrow. Oh, it messed something up, of course, didn't it? Something always gets messed up. Then he's gonna have to fix it with 1885, 1885 parts. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, shit, a bear. <laughs> what? Wow. Are there bears here in the is desert? It in California, 1885? I don't know. I guess, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Of, of course, the same <laughs> dang scene every time. <laughs> Feels like a fever dream. <laughs> every time. Eastwood? Eastwood. 
So she's married at this point? Yeah, the guy who would like check that was helping him. Is... How would their bloodline have worked then? Because if... his, I mean, she's now taken on the guy. Yeah, but name. in the future, though, it's this. They did the families join together. How would they have joined together in the past and then also in the future? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, let's not question it. <laughs> I mean, this show has gone to incest. <laughs> <laughs> that is it's a show, but movie. <laughs> William Sean McFly, the first of our family to be born in America. Oh, it's okay, Will. This here is Mr. Clint Eastwood here. <laughs> <laughs> first Calvin Klein, now Clint Eastwood. How was it that you came to be way out here without a horse or boots? Or hot. Well, <laughs> my car horse broke down. <laughs> my horse, horse broke, broke down. down. Mm. Shame us. A word with you. When you hold him for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave a stranger your baby. It's your great 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 great. I don't know how my great grandson. So you're my great grandfather. Aww. And you peed on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not everybody can say they got peed on by their great great grandfather. <laughs> I mean, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Hell Hill Valley. <laughs> wow, dude, look at that. That's what all towns started as. It's kind of crazy to think about like how places were yeah. so many years ago. <laughs> Oh, a festival. The clock tower. <laughs> the clock tower is the glue through everything. It's like the nexus point. <laughs> it's the constant. Is that the clock tower? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Was Wells Fargo a chain back then? I think so. She walk in here and be like, this town's not big enough for the both of us. <laughs> oh, I'll have uh, ice water. <laughs> <laughs> Ice? You want water, you better go dunk your head in the horse trough out there. <laughs> in here, we pour whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's easy to take for granted how easily we could just get water and ice water nowadays. I was just telling this to Casey the other day, how unbearable it would be to have lived without air condition. It was like 118 today Yeah. in Austin. You want to change this McFly? <laughs> So this is the Biff dog. ancestor? <laughs> yeah. Mad dog, ugly hat. Mad dog Tannen, I think. I'd say he's the run of the litter. Hey now, <laughs> boys. Would you take a look, see at these pearly whites? Hell, I ain't seen these look at straight more store ball. Hey, <laughs> take a gander at them moccasins. <laughs> moccasins? No, sir, Mr. Tannen, I have not. Tannen. You're Mad Dog Tannen. Oh, uh-oh, you said his name. It's like nobody says my name. <laughs> Secrets. No, I'm just <laughs> chamber pot. Like chamber of secrets. I, I get that, but what's a chamber pot? Where you use the bathroom? No, in? that's a, a spittoon. No. That's where they spit their tobacco. Chamber pot looks similar. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You're gonna get hog tied. No, you're just gonna get. I feel like a lot of people drag. died in the Wild West like this, being like drug, drag, drag. <laughs> Like a lot of people died from accidental gunshots the way they just shoot their <laughs> gun off like nothing. Oh my gosh. I forgot the number of people he had killed. Where's the marshal? Wasn't it like 12? Something like that. Where's the sheriff? <gasps> is this the sheriff or is it Doc? Whoa! <laughs> that's Doc. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So the way I figure it, Blacksmith, you owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. That's the eighty dollars. The eighty dollars? Yeah. That's what he got shot for. Well, that's your problem, Tannen. Just pay him and get it over with. Hey, eighty dollars before we got off the gold standard was a lot of money. Cause one day you're gonna get a bullet in your back. And that one day is in like six days. Yeah. <laughs> 
Miss Mundy. <laughs> now I wish I'd paid him off. <laughs> And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named You don't have a Clara yet? You meet her in the next three days? That's enough um, time, I guess, to be put on your gravestone? Yeah. <laughs> you can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. Seems like you should have put, like, something under and caught that gas. Guess we're gonna have to use this, a steam engine or something, a coal engine, a wood-burning stove. <laughs> oh, we're just using horses, okay. <laughs> They're not fast enough. Hook it onto a train. <laughs> They're like, like Santa, but with <laughs> and a DeLorean. DeLorean. <laughs> I wish. Wait. I've got it. We can simply roll it down a steep hill. No, we never find a smooth enough surface. Unless you kill Biff's entire bloodline right here, right now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Casey woke up and chose violence today. <laughs> then he can never threaten you again or your family. <laughs> I hear that uh, Fearless Frank Fargo about one of these up to near 70 out past 30 junction. Well, you think it's possible to get it up to 90? Ha, <laughs> 90! Carnation, son, who never needs to be in such a hurry. <laughs> Scratch that idea. I mean, we can't wait around a year and a half for this thing to get awesome. finished. Marty, it's perfect. You're just not thinking fourth dimension. Oh, this is just like the same thing last time. You see, the bridge will exist in 1985. But if you mess up, then you just go. <laughs> Look at him going so fast for her. Wasn't it because she had to find her own transportation and then this is what happened? <laughs> <laughs> It's fun watching it with somebody who doesn't know what's gonna happen. And it's just like guessing throughout. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this movie so many times. I wonder if it's gonna be somebody. Like somebody from the future. I mean the past. I mean the future. But like different, just the actor. <laughs> I got everything. He's blinded by love. I'm almost glad that snake spooked those horses, otherwise we might never have met. Because <laughs> it was destiny. <laughs> His eyes got so wide, he looked like a pug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I was shot in town. I'm a local scientist. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> You're gonna die in like three days. What sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> and she's a teacher. She's named after a teacher. But why? She fell in there hundred years ago. <gasps> oh! They changed the past. This year, every kid in school knows that story because we all have teachers who like to see fall into the ravine. <gasps> so she was supposed to die there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in the ravine after. Let's just get the DeLorean ready and get the hell out of here. But so that means he messed yeah. with it in the past too before he came here then, right? Well, yeah, I guess getting with her, yeah, because she would have lived, mm -hmm. right? No, because she was supposed to always fall in, right? Yeah, but she was supposed to fall in here, meaning that he would have still met her because he was supposed to like kind of work with her. You but know, not the... pick her up, remember? So he did alter it. In yeah, that but time. the first time he altered it because he wouldn't have ever been there to pick her up and she would have just fallen in Yeah, because so, of the story. Yeah, she would have fallen in. Okay. <laughs> but him going back changed it. All right, Marty, you all set? Yeah, yeah, go. Tank pulling out of the station. Coming up to the switch shot. Stop at the switch shot. I feel like this is completely unnecessary. <laughs> I like how he's but, narrating every moment. It's for fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> but what if he's not gonna want to leave Clara? And he can't take her with him, right? Watch him do it. That would alter things. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as mayor of Hill Valley, it is a great pleasure to dedicate this clock to Hill Valley. <laughs> May it stand for all time. Well, 70 years. And then it gets turned into a mall after a few <laughs> decades. <laughs> Oh, remember he was in that picture in front of the Oh yeah. The clock. Mm, this seems like it's gonna get shown people. Maybe you'll see it in the future. The song is fucking slaps. I love this. <laughs> it's 
funny because for Casey, it doesn't mean anything, but I like this. Do, 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 <laughs> Do you recognize her? Like the actress? actress? I know, I've seen her before, but she I don't remember the, what she was in. She was in 40 Year Old Virgin. She was the, the woman that he was with, or he got with. Oh. <laughs> she was also the mom and stepbrothers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I knew her from. Okay, yeah, I was like, so. more kept coming to me. Remember, he was good at that uh, the shooter game. Uh, oh, from the yeah. 80s. Tell me one thing. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? 7-Eleven. <laughs> 7-Eleven. Now you need to know how to shoot like that just to even go into a 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's gonna make us ten to foot? You! I am. Oh. I recognize him. The principal. <laughs> oh! The I didn't recognize him with hair. <laughs> Discipline. So it runs in the family. The disciplinarian. Discipline. <laughs> <laughs> That's an intense and look that the kid a, gave him. And you a principal. Uh, probably. I mean, I feel like it's a couple generations away, but still, yeah. Hmm. There. Dancing with that piece of calico. <laughs> piece of calico? How do you know what calico means? What is calico? It's like, uh, I think a fabric or a oh. color. Oh, look. He has a prostitute gun. I like those tiny guns. They're so cute. Watch Claire is the reason he doesn't get shot here. Oh my god! Yeah, the line is a piece of shit! <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta just let these words run right off your back, okay? I don't think that's the way the phrase goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like a duck. Yeah. Remember, he couldn't even get like that other line in like the well, him, his ancestors, or not his ancestors, his great great grandson, whatever. Yeah. He's like, make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> Why does she have the attitude? <laughs> Copernicus. Copernicus! Like the dog. <laughs> like the dog. <laughs> the dog's Copernicus. That's if space is even real. <laughs> he just fell in love and yeah. forgot all his responsibilities. <laughs> oh! Oh, shooting, oh, shooting star. star. In front of the little schoolhouse. The schoolhouse reminds me of holes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can I, fix that. That's exactly what I was about to say, yeah. Name a better love story. <laughs> I mean, there's probably better. He died. It's Clint Eastwood lines. <laughs> I only ever saw Unforgiven, so. Go ahead. Make my <laughs> You don't know that line? Make my day. That's I I'm think oh, I haven't seen a whole lot of Clint Eastwood movies either, but it might be Dirty Harry. Mr. Eastwood. Anything Look at I that. Do for you today, Mr. Eastwood? Uh, no, it's fine. It's famous here. Good morning, Mr. Eastwood. Ooh, a suit. Suit for tomorrow. Dang, everybody wants you to succeed because Tannen's terrorizing the town. Oh, loop on it? <laughs> it's really lovely here in the morning. Don't you think? He's not gonna want to leave. We gotta load the door and up, get ready He's to not gonna want to leave, Clara. <gasps> That's the, the one. one, but it just hasn't been engraved yet. My name, it's vanished. Oh. Hey, that's great, Doc. Don't you get it? We're going back to the future tomorrow, so everything's being erased. Well, why would the tombstone still be there? Excuse me, Mr. Eastwood. I just need to take your measurements. Oh, look, Harold, <laughs> for the suit. I don't buy a suit. <laughs> no, this is for your coffin. Oh. <laughs> well, the odds are running two to one against you. Might as well be prepared. So, may not be my name. Oh, his name? Oh my gosh. But if you for Tana comes looking for trouble, I'm gonna be ready for him. You heard what that son of a bitch called me. Yellow? <laughs> that's it? I know, that's the your fucking problem. color. <laughs> What's wrong with my future? Marty, we all have to make decisions. You remember the accident he got in? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
I'm not going with you tomorrow. <gasps> I knew it. Because he loves Clara. There's no point in denying it. I'm in love with Clara. <laughs> exactly what it. you said wasn't going to happen. Happened. <laughs> what? Can be changed. You what? <laughs> what? That was your whole, like, thing. So you <laughs> Be and changed. Completely changed your whole entire you can always go philosophy. back and change things. I've at least got to tell her goodbye. What are you gonna say to him? I gotta go back to the future. <laughs> I don't understand that, Doc. Hell, I'm in it with you, and I don't even understand. It. <laughs> hey, she reads Jules Verne. I don't know. Maybe we can just take Clara with it. <gasps> Ooh, but well, I don't know. He said the future could be changed. He's his whole life was lies. And as soon as we return to 1985, we'll destroy this infernal machine. Okay. If you just sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. From the future. You said it. There's a time machine that I invented. And tomorrow I have to go back to the year 1985. She's gonna be like, what? Because you know I'm partial to the. Oh, what? In order to take oh my gosh. Oh. oh I've heard some whoppers in my day. Well, that did not go as planned. <laughs> Whiskey, Chester. <laughs> Whiskey. Amit, are you sure you know what happened to you on oh. the July? <laughs> what? <laughs> Won't he drink whiskey? And you can leave the bottle. Ooh. <laughs> I have peddling this barbed wire all across the country has taught me one thing. Certainly. Peddling barbed wire. What the future brings. Yeah, <laughs> the future. Oh, I can tell you about the future. That's the one thing he can tell you about. <laughs> Did he get too drunk and not show back up in time? Uh oh. We know what happened on the 4th of July when he drank whiskey. Actually, <laughs> we don't know, but we can assume. Car, yeah. <gasps> Name's I mean, coming. We have motorized carriers. He's telling people. Oh my god. <laughs> Does he have? None. That's the first one. Wait, what? <laughs> he hasn't even drank it? What? Just the thought of it? He's just been holding that shot glass. Yeah. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> it's like a full ass bottle. I've lost her, Marty. Oh my gosh. Here's to you, Black <laughs> And to the future. Amen. Amen. Damn it, no! Oh. Uh oh. Wait, what? <laughs> From one whiskey? I don't even know what made it down to your stomach yet. <laughs> oh my god. How many do you have? Just one. What? One? <laughs> There's a fella that can't hold his Oh my Jimmy gosh. Black. So that's what happened on the 4th of July. <laughs> We've all been there at some point. It took a lot more for me to get there, but still, been there. Let's make some wake-up juice. Wake-up juice? Tabasco. Let's go. I didn't know Pickle. Tabasco was still a thing back then. Oh, seasonings? I'm trying to... I want to know what wake-up juice is. It's going to be as sober as a priest on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it's wake-up juice. Are you an Aries one? It's 8 o'clock. And I'm calling you out. Let's settle this once and for all, right? Right, you got the gumps. <gasps> no, <laughs> Lindsay <Clint> Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay <Clint> Eastwood. <laughs> Listen, I'm not really feeling up to this today. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Don't listen to it. No, no, no. <laughs> Stop it. Stop letting words do this to you. What if I don't go out there? And you'll be branded a coward for the rest of your day. Everybody, everywhere, will say Clint Eastwood is the biggest <laughs> yellow belt. Well, you're not actually Clint Eastwood, so who cares? Your ancestor is looking down upon you. I don't care what Tannen says. And I don't care oh. what anybody else says either. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's up. He's alive. <laughs> we don't have time, we gotta get there. Yes, sir. That poor fella last night had the worst case of broken heart I have the ever seen. Oh. The barbed wire guy. 
I've never seen a man so broken up over a woman. What did you say her name was? Kara? Sarah? Clara. <laughs> Clara. What do you do? Gonna, gonna get off the train? I couldn't even talk. But was this man tall with <laughs> great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair? You know him. I'm Clara. <laughs> Straw! No! <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh. Well, we can settle this like men. <gasps> no, there's no way. This is gonna be like like in the first one or <laughs> ah Is it the frisbee plate? No. Oh. <laughs> what is it? The cover to the first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tombstone. Oh, it broke. It broke. So now the prophecy cannot be completed. <laughs> the prophecy. <laughs> and what would be fitting for him to land in? Oh, <laughs> manure. Every time. You're oh. under arrest for robbing the pile. Oh, because oh, they were from yesterday. <laughs> Because that's what they were doing the other day. I hate my new. Haha. Yes! Cheetah death, the train. Can we make it? Hey, mister. Mr. Eastwood. Here's your gun, mister. <gasps> take it back with you. Maybe I'll trade it for a new hat. Ride it. Take care of that baby. <laughs> Maybe it'll be passed down in his lineage or something. <laughs> I'll get it in like, you know, friggin' yeah. 80 years. Wait, 70, 50, 70, 100 years. You just missed him. Time machine. Because <gasps> she reads Jules Verne. And also because it says time machine. <laughs> we told her. <laughs> then she reads her mind's open to the idea. Mm -hmm. It's funny that the horses just know when to retreat. I know. <laughs> They're like, all right, my job is done. <laughs> all right, let's get this thing to 90. Remember, they said they need to make it like hotter than mm. like the gates of hell or whatever, <laughs> like that guy said. Clara! I don't know if you're gonna end up going with them or you're gonna like disrupt them. <laughs> the tires on the car. How is he gonna get in there with them though? Oh my gosh. Well, what are you gonna do when you get there, Clara? <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't know what's about to happen. You're gonna yell at them? Like, hey. She's really in love. Ooh! <laughs> Don't get stuck behind though. I'm nervous he's gonna get stuck or he's gonna wanna stay behind with her. 35 is like what you have to go like in a school zone. <laughs> she is really determined. She's in love. Oh, the whistle. <laughs> oh, there's the you point don't no have return. Time. You don't have time. <gasps> oh, okay. That's the choice. All right. Well, you don't got a lot of time, so you better figure it out. <laughs> I don't think she knows the whole dynamics of play about what's going on here, to be honest. <laughs> Not up or shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for you to be scared, Clara. Oh, no, no. Oh! You got it. Now go get her! 
<gasps> Come on, hover over there! Hover over there! Use the train's inertia! Okay. <gasps> He's but staying with her in the 1800s. Make it to eight, 1985 wow. or I'm gonna die with a head on. I knew he was staying with her. He's in love. He loved her. Read the sign. East, east, like, cause he, they like said that he died off that thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the hell? Uh, hopefully there's not another train coming through here. You need to get off the tracks. Oh my god, you get him. Ah! What? Oh, all right. I was like, really? How fucked up would it have been for him to have died the just DeLorean. there? The DeLorean. I guess it got destroyed like he wanted, yeah, so now but... he can't go back for him. Dang, the DeLorean. So sad. Oh, because it caused so many problems, but it caused so many fun adventures <laughs> along the way. And if it wasn't for it, he wouldn't have met Clara, right? I guess, yeah, but she also would have been dead in the 1800s. <laughs> So he saved your life. Thank God you guys are all back to normal. Hey Marty, who are you supposed to be? Clint Eastwood? <laughs> <laughs> Clint Eastwood. <laughs> well, she was still sleeping here. Damn, you just woke up to straight kissing? Was a dream, wasn't it? <laughs> Needles. This is the guy who got him fired in the future. Let it go. So do you remember what happened? What they said about in the future? About how there was a I was like, why did you accident, do the move? Of, an accident. Oh, is this the accident? No, don't do chi No, chicken means nothing. Whoa. Okay, well that was still reckless, but... <laughs> No, that I straight was, up feel like that was more that was dangerous. Really, could you, you have just, just stayed? stayed in one spot? Why did <gasps> And what would he have hit? He would have hit that car and ruined his life. Okay. What does she have? Do you remember? <gasps> oh, he never got fired. So their future is secure. Why do I feel like there's going to be something... Somehow, some way, that he's either gonna know of him or see him again. I don't know. Or see historical documentation. No. <gasps> <gasps> ah! Did he make a Delora train? <laughs> Delora train? I've never heard that term before. Oh my gosh! How did the train sound know he was coming from the future? <laughs> Steam! I talked about Steam! Dang! How long did that take you? Yeah, Einstein. Oh. Well, that's <laughs> nice. I feel like he learned that lesson himself too. You know. Where are you going? The past. I think they actually made an animated series. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think so. That is oh it flies. <laughs> hey, he had the hover board back in That's true. Yeah, 18 whatever. Maybe he used stuff from that. Wow. <laughs> Dang! That is so awesome. I love that. <laughs> the train. I'm glad they saw each other again. <laughs> I mean, I would have been satisfied if he just lived his life out in 1885, yeah. but he had to do it again. He didn't want mad scientists to find a way. <laughs> but that was the story of Rick and Morty. I'm <laughs> just kidding. What'd you think of the entirety of this series? I know you had saw the first one years ago. We recently just watched the first one again off the channel. And now you got the conclusion of their story. I enjoyed it. I think that the ending, it wrapped it up very nicely you know like him coming back he got back to 1980 i was gonna say 1885 he got back to 1985 <laughs> a lot of dates in this series <laughs> yeah. he, saw, he got met jennifer well not met her but got yeah. her again he didn't get in his accident that ruined his life which i didn't realize the accident took place that long ago yeah. you know like all that time ago that's when he would have i guess gave up on music yeah <laughs> The very next fucking day. <laughs> he gave up on music because of that accident. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> and that didn't happen, and then Doc came back, and now he has a little time-traveling little scientific family, and that's so cute. <laughs> and I'm glad that he, him, he had Clara, so he wasn't just alone. Yeah, and she was never supposed to have been alive, I guess, in the original timeline, so I guess it the fact that really... she goes into time with yeah. him, and she's not fucking anything that, up. That's, I guess that's the thing. Is, yeah. But then again, it's like, is your presence being places you're yeah. not supposed to mess stuff up? But then I guess you could say that about them, too, so we just ignore that. So I was born in 91. My older brother was born in 82. So he kind of grew up with these. He showed them to me as a as a child, you know, but he had saw them while they were coming out. And he told me that there was an animated series about the Doc and Clara and the kids that kind of followed their adventures after the fact. I don't even know if you can find that anywhere oh, at this point in time. that sounds fun, though. Too. I don't know if it was any, like, any good <laughs> or if right. it was just kind of like, oh, we're just like yeah. a little throw-in or whatnot. That but, would be so fun to see something like yeah. that, like a series of them. The thing, though, that I dread is them remaking this series oh, yeah. because this it, is so it iconic. It would be the same, I don't think. But nowadays, they remake everything. They do try to remake everything. They remake fucking so I don't just feel like it. it's only a matter of time, and um, I just I don't want it to happen. I feel like these though withstand the test of time. Like they don't, they age very well. So does Harry Potter, and they want to remake Harry Potter as yeah. well. So I like, guess it's it's like you know I feel like visually they withhold time. You know, there's yeah. a lot of of movies like that that. You know, you could tell it was an older one, Alien, but, but one that comes to mind. it looks very visually nice still to yeah. this day. And even movies that don't still hold up well just for, like, other reasons, too. But, yeah, I think these still stand up to this day. And I think that's like, really great about them because, like, you can enjoy them forever and ever. And they don't mm. feel like they really age fully. I mean, like, in the second one, kind of, because some of the references. But even yeah. then, like, it feels... Like, you know it was made in the 80s, but it doesn't feel like, oh, this looks so outdated that I don't enjoy it anymore or anything like that. Well, the funny thing about that is if you did it, like, in modern days, what's going to end up happening is, let's say you fast forward 30 years into the future, just like you did in the original, and, like, we change, like, the time periods or whatnot, it's just going to age again, you mm -hmm. know? Like, okay, we're in 2023, it's going to be 2053, and people are going to be, oh, that's what they thought the world was going right. to look like in 2053. But I, I think that's like, makes it fun, because it's like, exactly. oh, 2015 You're like wasn't like that, you know? You're like being transported to a period in time where that's what they right. thought the future was right. going to look like. Obviously, we don't have flying cars and hoverboards. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess technically we do have hoverboards, but they're not exactly like what they thought it was right. going to be like in 1985. <laughs> I do like how in the third movie, though, they went back in the past, and yeah. they kind of stayed there. I think that was cool because, like, obviously we saw a lot of the futuristic elements and, like, you know, they did go to the past, like, to the 50s. Yeah. But for them to go way to the past, I thought was really cool just because you kind of got a lot of those, like, funny joke references moments, but, like, from a past sense, too. And then I do like how they kind of kept the characters, the similar characters, I, even though, like, the the mom and the him... McFly's. That was kind of like whatever Doesn't really to me. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, but it was still, you know, it's just like they kept the consistency of keeping the same characters, yeah. I guess, like playing different people throughout history. Um, and then, of course, Biff playing everybody. <laughs> Um, but, hey, and Marty too. Yeah. He was his great, great, great ancestor. Yeah, I, I like the like the charm that this movie has. Like, it's very unique to itself, and I mm. really like it. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was. It's. Uh, I know why everybody like. Every, this is so like a beloved series. So yeah. I can see why. And then you have things like you know the clock tower playing yeah. such an instrumental role, like from its inception in the mm -hmm. 1800s yeah. to its I guess collapse in the 50s, and then eventual resurgence, yeah. I guess, in the 2015s as a mall. <laughs> like, all those instances yeah. that just kind of, like, transcended time. I, and also just kind of just, like, the little things. Like, okay, now it's Eastwood Ravine. Right. Um, or, right. yeah, whatever. Like, whatever the case may be. Like, you know, it was the... Clayton, I think it was the Clayton Ravine. It was Clara's last name. Yeah. Um, so, like, those little things, I think, just kind of enhanced the viewing experience. And also, you know, some things that Casey may have missed, because, honestly, I was kind of stupid in the, the second movie when we were sh watching it with her. Um, there was references to a movie called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly with Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. It was on the screen. And in that movie, uh... I guess I'm kind of spoiling it, but, honestly, I haven't even seen that movie. But in that movie, Clint Eastwood takes... I think it's the furnace cover and mm. uses it as a, like a bulletproof vest 
And that's exactly what he does. Oh, and he's also Clint, Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. So, so I like, missed that one. Little things like that also are there too. So it's just very well thought out. Yeah. Awesome it was very story. Meta. Throughout my life, I've probably seen this movie a dozen times. Really, this viewing experience, watching it with someone who hasn't seen it before, it was very unique <laughs> because I didn't want to like tip off Casey to anything that was about to happen. I feel like I did give her some clues, but not too many to be honest. And it's just because like, okay, did you, did you catch this little thing in like right. the second one and yeah. things like that? You know, like oh, pointing out yeah. the Eastwood I would have missed that. Yeah, if you didn't point it out. So yeah. Also, before we leave. I want to point out something I never noticed as a child, and I think I saw a YouTube video about years, 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 years after. I was like a grown-ass adult, and it's very awkward. Okay, it's when Doc is talking uh -huh. about the future has never been written. You don't even need to have your headphone in. Oh. I want you to watch Vern here. He does the weirdest fucking thing. But what does that mean? Watch. Why is he going like, wait, that? <laughs> We're doing it again. We'll We're put it here in the outro. We're leaving this piece of on the screen. Why did he do that? Look at this motion. kid. Look he at like went burns. like this, and then he pointed down there. It means your future hasn't been written yet. <laughs> it ruins your childhood a little bit. Did he have to go to the bathroom? I think that's what people can say. I, I think he just maybe just look, had to. Hold on. We'll do it one more time. Look he at maybe just had to go to the bathroom. Look at the mischievous face. Look at his it fucking means face. Your future hasn't been written yet. Why? No Gitsy smiled. <laughs> he said something. Uh, I mean, I don't freaking maybe know. Maybe he had to go potty. I don't know. But I saw that in some <laughs> sort of video. I don't know if it was like Watch Mojo right. or something else. That's kind of I would have never. It's weird. I didn't notice it, it either. Well, I noticed it when I was in my my mid twenties. Christopher Lloyd given the performance of his life. I, and like the line that he's talking about there is like, no one's future has been written yet. Why did he do? I have no idea. I this, to a me so unrelated to, to movie. me that seems like I had to use the bathroom. But what would he? You I mean, maybe because he's a kid, he didn't think like, oh, I need to wait till the scene's done. They chose to use that scene. I'm sure they did the scene multiple times. Right. It's not like it's a situation, typically, where it's like, oh. Well, maybe that was. performance, we're using that Maybe that, that was Doc's best one, and they I were mean, like. Maybe. I feel like I would have cropped the shot, though, and like right. zoomed in on Doc if that That's were the case. That's crazy, y'all. Yeah. I can't believe it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.